Hello, welcome back to my kitchen and welcome back to my small chops series. If you've not been following, you've been missing out on a lot. Today, I'm going to show you how to make money bags. Money bags are really delicious and they make up the small chops box. If you love money bags, let me know in the comment section and let me know what your favorite out of all the small chops in a box is. We're starting off with boiling our chicken. So I'm just seasoning with some onion, curry powder, dried thyme, salt, chicken stock powder, paprika, and any type of chicken seasoning that you like. I'm adding some parsley as well. Give everything a good mix, add some water, and allow to boil till tender. Once it is cooked, allow it to cool down and then shred it into little pieces. In a pan, add some sesame seed oil. It's going to add a lot of nice flavor. And then we add some onion. In my previous Small Chops video, you'll see what all these vegetables are. But I'm just adding onions, spring onions, carrots, green bell peppers, and I'm just mixing everything together. Add a bit of sugar, some dry pepper, and then you add your shredded chicken. You don't need to add extra salt or seasoning apart from the sugar and all the other ones I mentioned because the chicken is already seasoned. Next, you are going to add some chili sauce. You know, like one of those bottles where you have soy sauce, oyster sauce. So the chili sauce, add it to this uh, mixture and combine everything together. You just need it to be a bit moist. You don't need to overcook it. Once you've combined everything, just turn off the heat and allow it to cool down while we prep the rest of the ingredients. To make the money bags is pretty straightforward. First of all, we're going to take some spring onions and then cut them into thinner strips. Now let's assemble. This is our money bag filling and then we are going to also be using some toothpick to secure everything and then our spring onions that we've just cut into little stripes. This is the wrapper we'll be using for the money bags. I'm using two at a time. If you want to know how to make these wraps, I've showed it in two previous videos, which is the samosa video and the spring roll video. So go and watch it. Now we're going to add our money bag filling. Don't add too much, <laughs> but it's your money bag. You can do whatever you want with it. So I'm just going to secure it, like just close it like this. You just need to fold it. Once folded, tie the spring onions around the wraps so that it is secure. So just lay it over the previous one that you are rolling. You see the way I'm doing it, just roll it so that it stays secure. Next, you insert your toothpick so that it comes out from one end to the other end. That way, your money bag is not going to scatter. And then we trim it just for it to look nicer. I'm just going to repeat the whole process until I finish or exhaust all my wraps. 
I'm sharing these small chops recipes this festive season because it can be hard to get, you know, small chops people to come and make small chops for you because the demand is so high. But if you can do it at home, is that not a win for you? If you want more festive recipes and recipes that just taste so good, I've got you. Go to the link in my bio to download my cookbooks. I have multiple, but the one I recommend, especially for this season, is my soup cookbook and my celebration cookbook. I call those like festive recipes. Also, A Time to Eat, which was my first cookbook, is like classic. So just go and download all my cookbooks. I will link them in the description box. Now we're done with, you know, just putting the money bags together. Look how nice they look already. You guys, this is legit small chops. If you like it by now, click the like button. Let me know that you appreciate this recipe. Now allow a pan to heat up, add some oil, and once it is hot, you start putting in your money bags. You don't want the oil to be like not hot enough. If it is too hot, it browns quickly. And then if it is not hot enough, you know, your money bags become soggy. So it just needs to be at the right temperature. Sure you mix it around or toss it around so that one end does not burn while the other end is still cooking as you can see i've achieved the perfect golden color that we need for these money bags and i'm taking it out of the oil onto a sieve so that the rest of the oil can drain at how gorgeous and golden our money bags look like. Are these money bags naira, pounds or dollars? <laughs> Let me know in the comment section. They look so good and they taste even better. It took a lot of self-control for me to allow it to cool down because money bags are one of my favorite components of the small chops basket. I'm just going to open it to reveal the goodness in it and I hope you guys try this recipe. If you like this video and then you try the recipe, don't forget to click the like button and then tag me on social media when you use the recipe. Also, don't forget that this is the third in the series of my small chops. So we've done samosa, we've done spring rolls. I'm going to put the link to them in my description box. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!